The new Scarborough lifeboat, RNLB Frederick William Blackstone, is one of a new generation of high performance rescue boats. And even as its arrival was being eagerly anticipated at Scarborough, a much smaller version had taken to the water on a lake in Yeadon, north of Leeds. This superb model was built by a local enthusiast, Michael O'Connell. I met up with Michael at the Model Boat Club and he first explained how he came to choose this lifeboat for his new project. It was actually the shape of the hull that I saw, not realising that it was a lifeboat. Once I did and found out that it was a uh, water jet, it was that that sort of interested me to, to build it. It could have been a model of any type of ship if it had uh, water jets on it, it was something new. Uh, up to that point I knew nothing about the Shannon class lifeboat. How long did it take to complete it? I would say about six to seven months, uh, but not, not high intensity uh, building, it was, it was done uh, if I got a bit uh, sort of stymied with it, uh, I'd walk away from it and go another day like, you know. How did you achieve such an accurate reproduction of the lifeboat? Mainly looking on uh, YouTube and looking at photographs and videos uh, and then eventually uh, of course the Scarborough lifeboat came on so I was able to get some more uh, detail of that and in the end I actually went to Scarborough and compared it to the real thing and came back and uh, made the alterations. Are you pleased with it? I'm very pleased with it. Um, the only fault that I can find with it is uh, the, the kit from Germany uh, for the steering. It, it's, it's a bit more plasticky rather than uh, a good solid uh, engineering job. So I'm in the middle now of uh, upgrading it to try and make it a bit more uh, robust. So it's not really finished yet? It is about a scale boat ever finished. You, 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 you're always adding to it. Uh, you can say it's an ongoing thing. Uh, you notice little things that you didn't notice before and uh, you just carry on. Do you get a lot of pleasure out of actually using it out on the water? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I get, uh, to be honest, I get as much pleasure building them as I do sailing them. But uh, when you've built a model and uh, you put a lot of time and effort into it to actually see it perform, it, it's it's there's a lot of satisfaction in it. Michael's modelling skills are clear to see, not only in the fine details and general finish, but particularly the amazing accuracy of the model when compared to the full-size Frederick William Plaxton lifeboat. Michael can be justifiably proud of his achievement. <laughs> 